Unless you're an experienced biostatistician, you're probably looking at our analysis and wondering, what is a baseline risk adjustment? First, we should note that baseline risk is just another name for the placebo response, or the improvement a patient can experience from receiving a placebo rather than the actual treatment. To really understand the statistical method of adjustment, we need to know a bit more about clinical trials. Commonly, a clinical trial aims to determine how effective the drug of interest is in treating its target disease or illness. This is measured by the inclusion of a placebo group as a control. And since placebo groups are so common, they allow us to compare the data from clinical trials that differ in study design in other ways. In fact, the placebo response kind of acts like an alarm, notifying us of the presence of confounding factors that could be influencing patients' response to treatment, things like their severity of illness or history of medication use. And we get these results using this equation. Relative risk is equal to treatment response or effect over placebo response. Relative risk can be calculated for good or bad outcomes. Relative risk describes the probability of one group achieving an outcome relative to another. In this case, the probability of the active treatment group achieving an outcome, i.e. treatment effect, relative to the response in the placebo or control group. So, if we take a study with a low placebo response, the probability of the treatment group achieving that outcome will be exaggerated. For instance, Patients who have taken different drugs prior to taking part in a clinical trial are less likely to experience a placebo response since they've already gone through a treatment regimen. If we don't control for it, the difference in placebo response may influence our estimates of the benefit of the active treatment, especially when the treatment is compared to trials of other drugs with a previously untreated population that is more likely to experience a placebo response. If we don't adjust our analysis to account for these factors, we'll end up with biased results. For example, another review of clinical trials failed to adjust for placebo response in their comparisons, and drug A looked much better than drug B. But our adjusted analysis showed drug B was at least as effective as drug A, and even more effective than some of the other drugs included in the review. So, in conclusion, it's important to adjust for placebo response, or baseline risk, when comparing the results of different clinical trials.